Welcome everybody. This is Daniela from the Embodiment Conference and uh, this is the second tutorial on how to use Zoom. Um, so in this tutorial, I will cover how you start a meeting. So I'm starting here really basic. If you already worked with Zoom, this might be not so super interesting and you might want to check on the tutorials for, for the more advanced things. Uh, if you're completely new to Zoom, please hang on. So Zoom offers different ways to start a meeting. And for this one, I already opened my pro account simply because it offers a few more options. Um, so the easiest way to start a meeting is to start an instant meeting. So I'm going on the upper right on host a meeting and uh, Zoom offers me uh, three options. I can start a video or I can start a meeting with my video already running. I can start a video with my video not running, or I can start a meeting where Zoom immediately starts to share my screen. So that's like the direct option. I can, of course, also schedule a meeting. And this is probably the most relevant for most of you. So I have already a couple of meetings scheduled and I show you how to schedule a meeting. And Zoom is pretty self-explanational uh, in that. Excuse me, my English, it's not my mother tongue. So you are clicking basically on schedule a meeting and Zoom offers a couple of options. It offers a title, it offers a time, which is usually the the next possible option. Uh, so, so checking on every half an hour, it offers the next possible option for a meeting. But of course, I can change the date and I can change the time. I can also sh change the duration of the meeting, uh, the time zone. I'm located in Maastricht, so my time zone is Amsterdam. I can also decide I want to have a recurring meeting. That might be interesting for a couple of people who run like weekly classes, for example, on Zoom. So I'm pressing recurring meeting and uh, Zoom offers me to have a daily recurrence. No, I want to have it weekly. I have a weekly class, let's say for yoga every Tuesday at 8 p.m. So changing the time, changing the recurrence, saying, yes, I want to repeat it every week and I want to repeat it on Tuesday, starting um, let's say yeah start today and ending yeah why not why not end of april maybe the crisis is uh over or i'm saying okay for the next seven weeks or maybe i want to have more weeks so i can i have that there are different options to choose um there are a few more options uh i'm not going through in uh, everything you will figure out while working with Zoom. Zoom has a lot of options, um, which uh, can be very sophisticated, but this is really a basic tutorial. So further on, I can tell, I want the meeting to be started directly with a video of, of me running, or I want uh, also that participants immediately run their video. Um, I can choose for which audio. So sometimes people dial in via telephone. If I don't want this, I'm just using the computer audio. I usually have both uh, available, so it's more accessible for people. And then I have a couple of meeting options. Um, enable join before host means when people click the link, they can already get into the meeting room. It's something I personally don't like because then the meeting room is occupied and I'm getting a notification for everybody who comes in. So I usually have this not um, uh, available and people then when they click on the link, they get like a little window which says uh, the host didn't start the meeting yet and they will be connected to the room automatically the moment I'm starting the meeting. Can also enable the waiting room for that. I can decide if I want people directly muted coming in. Um, if I want to have just authentic uh, authenticated uh, users coming in, meaning they have um, they are somehow connected to my account, that's also a little bit uh, yeah more sophisticated. Uh, so so there are a couple of things I can untangle uh, toggle. However, usually I don't have anything. I set it up directly in the meeting, so I can be a little bit more flexible. And then I save. And uh, then I have the meeting scheduled and I can direct it to my Google Calendar and starting it from there or starting it from my Zoom account. 
Another option, which I personally really like, is uh, Zoom has a lot of integrations. And one of the integrations is, for example, to make anything you're putting into your agenda directly a Zoom meeting. So let's say I want to have, somehow I'm on Tuesdays today, I want to have a Zoom meeting with, I don't know, Lila. I don't know any Lilas. I apologize for anybody who is called Lila. However, let's have a Zoom meeting with Lila. And uh, I can directly say, okay, make it a Zoom meeting. And then I have the meeting in my agenda and I have it even in my meetings directly. Oh, I have all the recurring meetings I set up for you guys. And I have the Zoom meeting with Lila here. So Zoom shows me all kind of meetings I have set up. Also all the recurrent meetings, which are maybe my yoga class, which I have weekly. So yeah, different options to start a meeting on Zoom. And yeah, what you find in the meeting, you will find out in the next tutorial. Hope you enjoyed.